Hi, my name is Ruben Alves, I'm from the Construct Sim, and today you are going to see how to use the three different workspaces in ROS Development Studio. If you want to see ROS Development Studio, you can go to this theconstructsim.com and click here on ROS Development. Here you have the sign in and sign up. If you sign in, you will come to this page. In this page you have here your project, it will be empty if you don't have any project. You also have some projects already configured to run in the platform. In order to see how the three workspaces work, we have to create a project here. You can hit create new project and give the project a name. Let's call all workspaces the project and the description showing the workspaces. Create, ok, the project is already here, all workspaces, we can uh, open this project, run by clicking here or also open project. Let's click on the button open project, here is the description and ok, let's open it. Uh, no restore, I don't want to see the previous organization of the screens. Ok, when we have this, we don't have anything here because we didn't launch anything. So, let's open here the web shell and see the three workspaces. If you see here, we have the CAD key workspace, notebook workspace and the simulation workspace. We can see them also on the IDE. When you open the IDE, we have the here. We have here the CAD key, notebook and simulation workspace. Each simulation, uh, I mean, each workspace, it, uh, it has to be used for different things. For example, on the simulation workspace is where you should put the code, the simulation code, the gazebo simulation, for example. The notebook is where you, you put a Python notebooks to control the robot, for example. And in the CatKey workspace is the normal code Python or C++, for example, to move the simulation or the real robot. Uh, let's start with the simulation workspace. Let's clone a simulation in this workspace. We can see here we don't have anything. Let's enter on the simulation workspace source folder. We only have the CMake list. If you already have your repository, you can clone a simulation there. But in this case, we are going to clone a simulation from this repository. Bitbucket, Econ, User, The Construct Core, Project PS. PS means Public Simulations. Uh, you come here to the Sphero, for example. Let's get the simulation. This, yes, the simulation. Let's copy here and let's clone on the simulation workspace. Uh, git clone and simulation workspace. Ok. Now, if you want to launch this simulation, we come here to simulations, this button. We have here the simulations that are already prepared, I mean, prepared by the construct. If you want a simulation and you don't want to clone one on the simulation workspace, we can just run one of this one. But if I want to launch my own simulation, I come here to this select launch file. When we hit select launch file, our system will list the launch files, I mean the RDS will launch the launch files that are in this simulation workspace. Let's see for example find name launch here. Launch Okay, we have two work two two launch files here, so they should be listed here when you hit select launch file. And here they are: main launch and keyboard teleop. Let's run the main launch file and see the simulation. It's when you select the launch file, we start seeing some logs here, or the logs of the simulation that is is being launched. Let's wait some seconds until it loads. It's loading. Let's 
close these logs in here because we don't want to see the logs. I want to see only the simulation right now. So let's see. It's connected. Okay, the simulation is already here. And let's get closer just to see. Mm, is it still loading? Because okay, is it still loading? Okay, here we have the simulation. Let's suppose I want to 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 move the simulation. Let's just rotate the robot. For example, we can here let's check the host topic list. We can see that we have this command velocity topic. This is the topic that is used to move the robot. Let's let's uh, see this message. For example, hot topic info command val this is a geometry message twist let's rotate this robot with ROS topic publish on this command val topic a message a geometry message twist and okay here we have let's just rotate we have here the fields linear and angular x y z Let's just rotate the robot and let's publish only once. Here we in the simulation, okay, you can see here now that the simulation is rotating. You can see the robot is rotating. This now if I want to stop, I can publish a message that is zero. For example, an empty message, let's say. Now the robot should stop. Okay, it stopped. As you can see, not rotating anymore okay very good the work simulation workspace now let's see the catkin workspace the catkin workspace is where we have the code to move the robot in this example you we were using the command line to move the robot now let's use a program on the catkin workspace let's enter here on the catkin workspace source folder and let's create here a project catkin create catkin create project let's call movie just movie for example and it depends on raspy and if you come here to the catkin workspace source folder you already have here the the movie package on the source folder or the of this package, let's create here a file, mm, new file. Let's call uh, movie movie is zero. It's a Python file. Uh, okay. Let's run with the Python. So let me maximize here also the the font size. And here is the tabs. Okay, font size. Let me put uh, 25. It's a really big font size. Okay, we can see better. Let's run with Python. So you are R bin and Python. Okay, let's start importing RossPy and import this message geometry message twist. This one here. That is we are going to use uh, from geometry messages import twist and let's start our ROS node ROS pi init node let's call catkin node let me call catkin node if you come in here now you will see ROS node list ROS node list you we can see the gazebo only three four nodes N in some seconds we will see the catkin node now let's create a publisher here equals ross pi publisher we are going to publish on the common develop topic the message is a twist message and let's put the key size equals one mm, and to start to publish the message let's while ross pi is shut down why not? I mean, why not? Was Pi is basically while is, is Python is running. Let's publish. 
for example publi publish and let's create here a message let's now publish a an empty message that is the with all the fields with zero like a, an empty message by default is this if we just define here twist the message is empty let's publish message and let's wait some seconds let's publish only one message per second so rate equals ross pi rate and one message per second uh, let's rate sleep okay i think this node is going to work let's see now for example again let's first publish a message to move the robot uh, this one here the robot should start rotating here we can see we can see on the eyes they are stopped it is stopped if we press this button i mean if we publish in this top key the robot started rotating as we can see here it's rotating now let's run the node that we just created to stop the robot the node is on our catkin workspace is on the movie package on the source folder we have here the move is ferro let's make this code executable by running movie source movie is ferro now okay now we can stop the robot by running this code for example ros 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 node run the ros node no i mean ros run ros run the name of our package is move and move is zero is the name of our node if you look on the left side the robot should stop should stop let's see let's publish okay our node is working let's change let's put here a log message published for example raspy log info robot no, message published mess published now if we run our if we move our node again by command line if we move our robot it's moving it's it's moving now we can stop running our node on the catkin workspace move is zero and the robot stopped very good okay this is how we already know how to use the catkin workspace and the simulation workspace now let's see how to move the notebook workspace the notebook workspaces let's okay we can come in here to tools and open here the jupyter notebook when you click here by default you have a an empty let's say empty notebook but it can be used that can be used let's wait until it loads okay we have this default notebook we can click here to open it if you don't know how a python a python notebook works it's just a a a tool that allows you to run python code directly on the web browser for example here we have some code but let's create a code to stop the robot let's use the same code that is on our catkin workspace let's create here a new file and uh, no file new open new notebook okay let's start let's put our code here it's just copy this code to be easier message published okay and let's just change the the name of the node to to allow you better understand okay here we have the code let's change here to ipython node okay let's save it saved let's run the robot by command line no let's move using this code but instead of an empty message let's use message angular the z let's put equals one minus one 
minus 0 0.1 for example or 0 just to allow the robot rotate if we run our node in here ROS run move is zero. the robot okay it's rotating very good we can stop this message and the robot it will still keep rotating now let's stop the robot using the notebook workspace using the ipython file i mean we come here and just press this just hit shift enter let's shift enter message published and you can see here the robot stopped okay so easy to use the three workspaces right if we check in here on the notebook workspace source notebook workspace we have here the untitled is this one that we have created and the default that we had previously so that's it guys that is how to use the three workspaces in case i want to res restart my node for example let's say i have to stop here if i want to let's restart the kernel to make sure everything is really from zero now let's move the robot message angular z equals let's move the robot using using the notebook just enter shift enter and no shift control enter i mean control enter just and the robot is started moving as you can see so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you liked the video don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell to be notified about the new videos because you are because we are publishing videos every single day if you really like this video you can share it also and that's it thanks for watching